Hey everyone, it's me, the Otaku Fango here to review Danganronpa 3 Future Arc Episode 4. I knew it! I knew it! I called that so much! I knew it! I knew it! I knew! I knew! I... Miyaya Gekogahara was, in fact, Monica! Oh! Now, it wasn't in the way I thought, because Miyaya Gekogahara was a robot or something of the sort. Oh my gosh, I just knew it from the first moment I saw that character. I'm like, that is Monica. And it is, and it was. Wait a second, that means, wait a, wait a second. That means Monica's the traitor, or Miaya is. Oh man, I just, that just hit me, at least I think so. Um, dang it though. That ending of that episode was just, that, yes, 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 just yes, okay. So, <laughs> that's pretty much, like, the entire episode, like, that's all, everything everybody's gonna care about, but I wanna, I wanna mention something about, uh, Tengen, the old man. He was a great character, well, a great fighting character, wasn't, like, the best character ever, but... As a fighting character, yo, I didn't expect him to be that good. I was like, yo, you got these little, like, things under your sleeve? Like, I guess they're, like, darts, because, um, that's what they remind me of, in a way. But, oh my gosh. <laughs> um, sadly, he's not, he's probably gonna die now, because he, uh, got impaled. Um, but yeah. Dang it. <laughs> I just knew. Monica, I just knew it. I just knew it. Oh, Okay, so, the beginning of the episode, with, uh, the whole Monokuma Theater thing, or at least it was kind of like the Monokuma Theater thing, I was like, huh, that was interesting, and they played, like, the music for the, <laughs> oh my gosh, I, I can't get over the fact that I was right, I was right, that, I was right, I knew it so much, okay, I gotta get over that, I gotta get over that, um, <laughs> but yeah, so this episode, uh, Makoto was rescued, uh, by Asahina, Miaya, Monica, <laughs> um, and, oh my gosh, okay, so, he was rescued from Munakata, and that's when Tengen and Munakata had their fight, and, oh man, Juzo, just like, oh my gosh, there's just so much running through my brain where I'm just like, it's Monica, but, yeah, this episode, like, in the beginning half, it was just kind of, like, slow, kind of a slow build-up. But after you get past that, like, 13-minute mark or so, that's when it started to really get good. I was like, yo, now it's getting good. Um, Kyoko got injured. Let's see. She's now investigating, um, you know, her detective thing. But, <laughs> dang. Uh, she's with Ryota Mitarai and the Fedora hat guy or whatever, um, right now. And they're talking about, you know, who they think, you know is the traitor or the killer or whatever, and Ryota Mitrai, he wants to be like Naegi or Makoto, whatever, and, um, it's interesting, uh, they give him a, like, a, a little bit of character development, just, just, just a smidge, um, oh man, and then there's the whole thing with, um, Ruruka and Izayoi getting chased by Seiko, uh, Seiko, uh, the girl, you know, with the braces and stuff, um, and I honestly, like, when you saw Ruruka, like, praying or, like, you know, really hoping, I guess, that she doesn't die, I was like, I kind of feel bad for you now. And we got a little more insight into what happened to these three characters, which was, they got expelled from Hope's Peak somehow. We don't know the exact story still. Um, I'd like to know, please, <laughs> the exact story behind that. But, yeah, the main point of this episode is... Monica! Monica! I knew it! I just knew it, like, in the back, and just, oh, guys, guys, people who doubted that Miaya was not Monica, well, well, look at this episode, L look what happened. I knew it. Like, the moment they revealed her character visual, I'm like, that's Monica. That is Monica, right there, because there's no way that she wasn't Monica. <laughs> now, she wasn't Monica in the way that I thought she would be Monica, but... She's Monica, and that means Monica is our mastermind behind this killing game. I knew it! I knew it!
I knew it, and I love that I would do it. Oh, guys, 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 what did you think about Monica, like, revealing herself? Or what do you think about them revealing that Monica, look, here she is, guys, let's go. <laughs> oh, my gosh. I didn't think they'd reveal it that soon, though. Like, episode four? They're gonna reveal that Monica? Wow. And she... <laughs> I can't believe they revealed it in episode 4. I thought that'd be like an episode 10 type of thing, you know. Episode 4. We already know. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Like, the beginning half of this episode was just kind of like, eh, da, da, but then at the end it got so good. Uh, just everything about this episode I loved. At least the later portion of it when, you know. Oh gosh. Dang it, guys. I could just... Guys, tell me what you thought of this episode because gosh dang it, what a great episode, especially at the end. Just that big reveal is just like, yo, yo, man. Ah, oh. ah. I think this entire video has just been me like talking about Monica and how Monica is a thing. Like, I didn't focus much on the whole character stuff, but that's the only, like, ah. Uh, I mean, like, it's hard to focus on everything else when you just have this big reveal at the end of the episode, you know what I mean? But everything else in the episode was fine, good, you know, but just Monica and... <laughs> but guys, tell me what you thought of this episode. We gotta talk about this because, dang it, Monica. <laughs> so yeah, uh, I think that's all I got to say about this episode, let me think. Mmm, yeah. Uh, I mentioned all the other points that are kind of important, I suppose, so yeah. Uh, see you guys in my next review. Bye!